State Supreme Court judge says migrants cannot be buzzed from New York City to Dutchess County. News 12's Jonathan Gordon brings us much more on this ruling and the impact on the 86 men who are currently there tonight. We are doing everything we can, but we cannot take it at this time. Dutchess County Executive William O'Neill said his county is at a breaking point, but tonight he got some relief after a judge blocked New York City from sending more asylum seekers to Dutchess. Dutchess County is trying to undo the right, the wrongs that have been done to us. The decision allows the 86 men currently staying at the Red Roof Inn in Poughkeepsie to remain here and requires New York City to continue to cover the costs. Half of the migrants were transferred to this hotel from the Knights Inn in Liberty, Sullivan County, on Sunday. O'Neill says his preference is to not house any migrants, but says they need more resources if they're legally required to do so. And we need to help them if they're going to be here for the time they're going to be here to help them to be productive in our community. He and neighboring Putnam County Executive Kevin Byrne blasted the city, state, and federal governments over what they call non-existent communication and a lack of resources. On Monday, Byrne issued a preemptive state of emergency despite not having any migrants bust into Putnam. It's clearly at our, at our doorstep. Uh, in Putnam County. Rockland, Orange, and Sullivan counties have all issued similar orders. Putnam is committed to acting regionally with our neighbors. In Poughkeepsie, Jonathan Gordon, News 12. And a spokesperson for Mayor Eric Adams' office has yet to respond to our request for comment on today's ruling.